Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nick here, back here again with another video. Okay, so we're about to get juicy. <clears throat> I don't know why the glass is rocking. So it's three things that I want to cover. And I was gonna do a different video. I wasn't gonna do this one, but something in my spirit was like, talk about it. Cause maybe it may help somebody or somebody wants to hear it because somebody else hasn't said it. Or it's just making me feel good cause I'm putting out how I feel about these three topics. So, all of these things came from me watching the impressive channel and me thinking and like, okay, while I'm watching it, me thinking like, this would be a good topic to cover, especially based on how I see it and my opinion about things. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I put are black women arguing, but it's not specifically, like it, it gets deeper than that. It's, it's three people or really four people that I've seen on the impressive channel that were arguing. And they took it upon Twitter to argue, which does not make any sense to me. But it's Megan Thee Stallion. She wasn't really in it. Like, you know, she tried to stay out of it. But Megan Thee Stallion, Cash Doll, I think in the City Girls. Or maybe I may be wrong. I don't think it's Cash Doll. But y'all probably know what I'm talking about. If I got it wrong, just let me know. But, you know. Yeah. So, first, here's first things first. I'm going to go back. I'm going to trace back down to, the, you know, like the basics. It's known for... I'm gonna say black people, African American people, to be looked at as noisy, unpleasant, loud, which is the same thing as noisy beings. And I'm not gonna say that arguing isn't a thing when it comes upon the black community. It is. Everybody argues, every race argues. But when you take it upon social media, because I think they were doing Twitter, when you take it upon social media to talk about your differences and how you feel about that person and calling the person this, that, and the third. First of all, if we got other people looking at us, like I was saying, like, I gotta, I gotta think about, okay, I gotta think about what I was about to say. But anyway, yeah, so as black women, like, not saying that we gotta act a specific way to prove a point or to be at least close to acceptable, no, because that's how we just, we just happen to act. But I'm saying, like, it's a better way to handle the situation. Like, don't argue on Twitter where everybody can see that. Cause you got you proving people right that viewers like that you proving them like you proving them right by like okay she loud or they loud or they they can't hold a, a simple conversation or yep that's what it's known they always call each other bees and stuff like that so why are we so against each other because we got others that's against us the most we should do especially as black women because I understand women get jealous uh, a woman what one with the other woman have. Which we need to learn to, you know, love and accept ourselves. And we want to look like each other, you know. Which is okay, because we we inspire each other. But don't kill yourself and also develop your own style. I'm kind of jumping everywhere, but y'all follow my point. It's a better way to handle it. And I saw this post when I was scrolling down Instagram. And it's basically two black women that were sent down. A black One black woman put, picked up the crown and sat on top of the other woman's head. And the other one took the, uh, the feather and handed it to the other chick. I'm going to try to post it up here if I can find it somewhere. But that's how we should be, especially black women, because we are really looked down upon based on how we wear our hair. If our hair is curly in the afro, either they say, oh, let me touch it, or they say, uh, it don't look like it's done, or it's nappy. Then again, I'm kind of dropping everywhere. I'll try to kind of like piece it together, but I know that I'm everywhere. But we should band each other together and what they're doing, taking their arguments out on Twitter, calling each other bees and and, and woes and this and that and the third that should not be a thing especially you a celebrity and if you're a celebrity i'm automatically assuming that you're expecting to have a platform but when you have that type of platform speak positivity and then they started comparing each other's mug shots who does that at that point that's petty like okay i look better you i look better you so what the girl i forgot i think that's she's a part of city girls what she said first of all that was years ago and second People do a lot to, to themselves, all to themselves. So people look different, everybody doing it, which I'm going to agree with that because now everybody is doing something to alter themselves because they want to improve something or um, it's, it's been an ongoing issue, something like that. But the way they handle it and how they, I don't know if they call, I forgot if they, I don't know if they called Megan Thee Stallion out. I don't know if they called out Megan Thee Stallion for not protecting her friend or something like that, but Here's here's one thing. I have a best friend, right? If she's doing something and she's basically being like petty about, I'm about to say pity, petty about it, and somebody comes after her, of course, 
I'm gonna, I'm going to, you know, be like, hey, you know, what's going on? Because I view her as family. She's family. But if she started it, I'm going, I'm not going to jump on the other person. I'm going to talk to my friend like, look, you started this. Now you're going to have to end it or figure out what to do because I don't want to jump in and fight you when you're the one who's wrong in the situation. That's how I view it. Um, okay. But anyway, like I was saying, um, with them like arguing, I just, like I said, I understand that people argue, but it's, it's a time and place to do it. Don't take it out online and then start comparing people's mugshots. Talk about some, oh, I'm prettier than you and I'm prettier than you. That's the thing. When it also comes to the black community, we should not be doing that. We should not be comparing ourselves to the other person. We shouldn't do that or say, oh, I look better than I prefer. It's cool to have confidence. It's cool to be like, you know what? I got, you know, but don't down the other person based on how you feel about yourself or to have somebody say that and to prove a point like, oh yeah, you do look better than her. That shouldn't be a thing because we all look different for a reason. If we was all meant to look the same, then we all meant to look the same. And plus this is our physical beings. No, uh, when we die, we ain't gonna take this with us, especially when we age, we gonna look different. So it's like, with that to me, that was that was so like dumb and petty. We as black women gotta do better. Like we have to do better when it comes to treating each other. Cause we can't talk about somebody else how they treat us when we doing it to each other. We can't say, oh, she told me I was nappy headed and all that stuff. She calling me an like, N-word stuff with a hard R. Like, I understand what we said, but it's a, it's, a, it's a term of endearment now. But like to say all that stuff about our people and then have somebody else say it about us, but yeah, we get mad at them, but we do it to each other. As a black community, we gotta be here for each other. We have to do better. We have to love each other. We have to accept each other. We have to build ourselves because I don't get, and I don't get why, what, what's the point of arguing, compare yourself if both y'all got plastic surgery? Both is not natural, so what's the point? Now, if y'all was going head to head and y'all was being natural, still shouldn't be a thing, but okay, I understand. But why would you go head to head with somebody that both of them had plastic surgery done? I'm not saying that they did. I only know one that did, but I'm saying just in general. Like, come on. It's a lot more than I want to say about it. I just can't think right now because I just can't think. But I just I just want my our community, black community, to do better, to do better. Like I said, it's okay to argue. It's okay to have indifferences and stuff, but... First of all, to hate each other shouldn't be a thing. To be jealous of each other really should not be a thing. And third, we should not be taking our issues out to social media for everybody to see and then calling other people out. That shouldn't be a thing. All right, next topic. We moving on to Chi. Let me tell you, everybody know Chi ain't cool. So this is about, uh, then again, like I said, all three are from the Impressive Channel. The second one is about Saweetie and Quavo. I don't know what's wrong with Amigos. I don't know if uh, Takeoff is in a relationship. I don't know. But based on what I've heard, Quavo and... Uh, what's his name? Quavo and Offset. They both cheaters. Um, here's something that I, I, have, I have a question for all the cheaters, for everybody who's cheated. Why? Like, why why, why would you want to cheat on somebody? Even if they did hurt you, it's a, it's a better way to go about it. Like, okay, you cheat on me, I'm going to cheat on you. But in this case, let's say that a person cheated on you and you haven't cheated on them at all. My only thing, don't settle down with somebody if you know that you're going to cheat. Or you feel like, okay, I don't want this one person in my life. Or I don't want to just mess with this one person. I'm going to mess with some other people. Talk that out in the beginning. Don't trap nobody. Because first off, people don't know because people downplay. Be like, oh, that person went through worse things to you and that person experienced it worse and all that stuff. Trauma is trauma, whether it's minor or major. And cheating on somebody is emotional and mental trauma. And the only reason I say that is because if they decide to break up with you right now and get into a different relationship with somebody else, that trauma that you've given that person, they're now going to carry it into the next relationship. So now it's going to be an issue between them because now that person got trust issues because they got cheated on before. That should not be a thing. So with Quavo cheating on Sweetie, first of all, Round of applause for Sweetie. Round of applause because she is the first chick in a minute that has left the dude that has cheated on her. 
And she said that before that, she knew that he was doing something. So she kind of mentally checked out, which made her fall out of love with him. So it was easy to leave him, which is another thing that, you know. But for women, I'm not going to say it's bad that women stay with men that cheat. I'm not going to say that's bad. But at the same time, especially like, then again, if you have a platform, it's hard to say because I know that people are just like, okay, you showing young girls to stay with a cheater and stuff like that. I understand that by you being a celebrity and all that stuff and you having a platform, you don't expect to be as um, as much of an idol or to be looked at as being um, a source of guidance. It comes, but you don't really think about it until it's there. So it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of wishy, wishy wash, kind of 50 50. Like you're in it, but at the same time, it's like you don't plan for stuff to go down, you don't plan for stuff to go downhill. So in that case, they're like, dang, it's kind of hard. Cause it's like me, right? I'm a celebrity. Let's say I'm a dancer, right? And not the pole dancer, but like, you know, a professional background dancer, stuff like that. And I get well known and I start having my own dancing routine and stuff like that. And I get into a relationship and the relationship that I'm in, God forbid, they cheat on me, right? But then I decide to stay with them. And people are like, oh, why would you do that? You have a platform, you teaching young girls, you know? Because when you love somebody, you love somebody. Cheating, first of all, is not okay. And third, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to tell because... Well, it's not hard to tell. It's kind of hard to go through. Because you love the person, you want to work out with the person. But at the same time, it's like, what am I showing other people? So, I can understand how it's hard, especially for celebrities when they go through that. Because it's like, I don't know how to deal with or make it through. Hold on. Yeah, but you're thinking like, I don't know how to adjust to it because i want to work out with this person but at the same time i know people want to say oh why 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 you teach this person how to be you teach this person how to be you teach this person that it's okay to cheat and take a cheater no and on koi what part bruh really and they ain't gonna try to flip it on her talk about so you're not the woman i thought you were it takes a strong black woman to not do nothing to you, I swear. Cause there's no way you gonna say something like that to me because I broke up with you. She got, she, she, she got, she. she. The side that I'm on, I'm on sweetie side. And I'm like, girl, I'm so happy and I'm so proud. Not saying that the other people that didn't break up with their cheaters, that I'm not proud of them. I'm proud because they, they figured out, they working it out. That's their relationship. They want to be together or they're trying to figure it out. But how he turned on her, I'm like, why would you do something like that? Why would you say that? Because she don't want to be with you no more. You should have cheated. You should have did what you did with another chick. And that's the thing. You have somebody who's there for you. And they say he kept buying her gifts because he kept messing up. So him buying her gifts was a way to say, okay, look, I messed up again. I'm sorry. No, that's not how a relationship works. Why be with her? And why be with somebody to, to break their heart and bring them through trauma if you're not going to be faithful? If you know you're not going to be faithful, don't be with the person. It is that simple. That simple. I don't I don't get what be going through people's heads when they're like, okay, I'm dating this person. I just I just don't want to be with them no more. That or not be with them no more, but I just I don't wanna um what's the word? I don't wanna be faithful to them, but I wanna be with you. First of all, that's selfish AF and it's stupid. If you're not ready to settle down, don't settle down, don't do it. And I know people are like, oh, but they do, doing that for views. Oh, they're doing that because they're faking. They're just trying to get noticed. Whatever the reason, just in general, that ain't cool. And don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to people. Don't. Um, okay, so the third one I'm going to talk about. Third, but not, but not, you know, you know. Okay, the last but not least. There we go. It's about Kirk. I don't know if she coached it, but it's, yeah, she did. It's about Kirk Franklin cursing out his son now something i don't understand people of faith right something that i do not understand is how especially i'm gonna say in the christian community because you know I, I grew up christian even when you go to the church the church is so judgmental like even if, if you go to church with like a black outfit and stuff like that they be like okay why are you wearing that black outfit black resembles death and we're in the house of, we're in the house of the lord we should resemble white you should be wearing white or bright colors not black for Christians to be, to you know, to follow the Bible and be accepting and be loving and to walk like Christ. Why y'all so judgmental? Why you gotta judge the next person based on what they wear and how they talk? Or what they look like? Oh, she look fast. I wanna talk to her. 
I didn't know that faith made you so uh, judgmental and to push other people down. Especially Kirk Franklin, because last time I checked, we all human. Last time I checked, we all get mad. Last time I checked, Jesus in the Bible got mad. That sound like anger to me. That sound like, okay, I'm mad because you ain't doing it right there. You're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing. That sound like anger to me. So it's like, by people talk about some, oh, he's a, he's a man of God. He should not be doing that. First of all, he ain't playing with that to happen. His ignorant son sent it out for other people to hear. And another thing on top of that, on top of that, he's a father. And if your kid disrespects you, guess what you're going to do? You ain't going to sit there and look at them like, did you just, did you just curse at me? You're not going to do that. You're going to be like, I'm about to beat yo. I'm about to kill you at this point. Cause you ain't about to talk to me like that. After all the stuff I did for you and did that. And you did that. <laughs> don't let me be no parent. I, I don't care. I'm, I'm beating my kid. I'm not beating you, but you know, I'm a discipline you. Cause you're not, you're not about to, cause if you, if you discipline me, Here's why I think if a man discipline is uh, if a man does not respect his parents, how do you think he gonna treat you? Do you think he gonna respect you? If he treats his parents like that, don't you think he'll treat you like that? Just think about it. And his son was rude for that. Especially because I'm thinking Kirk Franklin did a lot of stuff for his son. Especially having money, probably financially supporting his son, I don't know. But by you recording your father cursing y'all and then posting it and him apologizing, first of all, Kirk Franklin, I'm gonna let you know personally, you ain't got nothing to apologize about. You are a father, you are a parent. Putting your child in check. And second, he, you ain't put yourself out, he puts you out. And I know that you're like, you wanna be viewed a specific way, you wanna be viewed as somebody that's like, okay, that live, that lives by faith, that lives by God. But when you think about it, Sometimes you got to put some things in check. Sometimes you got to let a little bit of them words flow out to put somebody in check, to, to, get, to, to prove your point. So, sir, Mr. Kirk Franklin, I'm on your side. You ain't have to apologize, but I'm on your side. It's the same thing with, um, I'm going to cover this real quick, too. And I know this is kind of old. I'm going to put this in here. Now that I think about it, it's Chloe Bailey, right? So everybody know Chloe Bailey as having a twin, Haley Bailey, uh, Hailey Bailey. I keep saying Haley. Hailey Berry, that's Bailey. Haley Bailey. That's, they are both in this, this like a twin singing group and stuff like that. They on the show, uh, what is it? Grownish and all that stuff. And they saw my Beyonce. You know, y'all know. Let me just say that I love them girls. Them girls are so talented and they can sing they butt off. That's what I call black power. Anyway, and black beauty. Especially making a statement about wearing dreads, girl. Yes. Make me want to start wearing some dreads. I can consider it. But anyway, everybody started, well, kind of like down in Chloe Bailey, but at the same time saying that she would be better if she was on her own because she has like a more Beyonce type of vibe when she's singing. First of all, and another thing too, it was an interview between I forgot. Yeah, I'm going to call the person I forgot and Beyonce's father and when they said that Chloe Bailey was the next Beyonce her dad was like are you serious not uh Chloe Bailey's father but Beyonce's father was like are you serious there will never be another Beyonce now I understand you got a lot of faith in your daughter not, under, not only that she has won a lot of stuff and she will be well known and she is and will continue forever be well known in history I understand I get that but to act like that like and I understand that's a way of you proving like okay she's worked her butt off and Chloe Haley is probably not working as hard as she did to be where she at. I can understand I get that, but don't down another black woman because of that. Don't say, oh, she is not as good as Beyonce because of that. Cause if you think, if I think, when I think about it and I see her, she reminds me a lot of Beyonce, but she has her own style, her own technique. She don't sound like Beyonce, but she has an amazing voice. What is it? She don't look like Beyonce, but she's a very beautiful girl. She not shaped like Beyonce, but she got the shape that everybody's dying for and getting surgery for. So I'm not trying to compare it, but I'm trying to say that she got her own thing going on. And she's very talented. Last time I checked. So to down her, to raise your daughter, then again, like I said, I understand that's your daughter, but don't don't push somebody else, show somebody else under the bus say they're not talented or they're not as good as them because that's not your child. You're supposed to raise up people, especially black men and black women. We supposed to raise each other up to make each other feel good. 
to experience and share love because we all we got at the end of the day. It's other people that's on our side, yeah, but truly in our shoes that experience the oppression and all that stuff, we don't want to guide each other. So we got, we have to stick and band together. And another thing with Chloe Haley, they started talking about some, uh, she too sexual or that, or something like that. And I'm thinking like, first of all, Haley, Chloe, sorry. First of all, Chloe Bailey is grown, all types of grown. And second, every other female artist dances sexually, dances as if they, you know, like in a sexual mood. Beyonce did it, Rihanna did it. Matter of fact, Rihanna walking around with probably no clothes on. You can see nipples and everything. So I'm like, she grown. And that's how she feels sexy. Like women in a room, when they when they feel sexy, they be in their room dancing and all. You don't see it, but that's what we do behind closed doors. Twerk and do all that stuff. But she does it online. Because why? It's a way for her to feel good about herself. And on top of that, people do it. So she probably just, it's, it's a trend, right? And, on, and another thing, she's grown. We all follow trends. Shoot, I'm wearing eyelashes. I'm following a trend. I did my lipstick the way I did it. It's a trend. So it's like, how you gonna diss a grown woman? How? It doesn't make any sense. And I believe that a, a lot of women that say something about that is jealous of her. Saying, oh, she should not be doing that. I guarantee if you would shape that exact same way, you would be doing everything. Not saying to catch attention, but you probably mad because you don't look like that. Be honest with yourself. That's the only reason why a lot of women be like, oh, I don't know why she's doing that and blah, 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 blah. She grown. And last time I checked again, people that get older say, oh, you should wear, she wear that because when you get older, you're not going to be shaped the same. But yeah, when she wear that, oh, she being too fast. Yo, which one is it? Which one is it? Should we dress like that or should we not do it? Tell me, because I'm confused. I don't know. So at this point, I'm like, look, you grown, dress how you want to dress. Dance how you want to dance. Entertain how you want to entertain. Because at the end of the day, you making your bands, you get paid. And then again, the same thing I said about Kirk Franklin, Chloe Bailey, girl, you ain't have nothing to apologize. You grown. You don't, you have to answer to nobody but your soul and all your power. That's it. And people are not gonna love you any less if you don't apologize. Cause I'm still I'm still behind you. I'm still rocking with you, girl, because you 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 gotta go on. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta go on. And you talented and your sister gotta go on and she talented. And y'all both y'all both made it big. Y'all gonna make it even bigger. So just keep winning, black people. Keep winning. That's all I had to say about all four now of these topics. Um Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I didn't talk y'all to death. Hope y'all found the video very interesting. You know, listen to it when, you know, you were in the shower. You don't got nothing else to do. You know, just listen. To, you know, just just do stuff on the side. Like when you're doing your homework, put the video on, watch what I got to see. You may be like, yeah, I agree. Or if you disagree, it's fine to disagree. Agree to disagree. Go ahead and do that. Um, But just just look at the video because you never know how you may feel about it. I may be the person saying, so you might be like, thank you. Somebody finally said what I was thinking. Or it may be like, no, she told totally wrong. You know? I get it. But thank you guys for tuning in. I love y'all so, 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 so much. And I will see y'all in next week's video. Peace.